Today is Monday. Detroit pop-up shirts that should be hopefully delivered by now or coming soon. I have three tattoos to do. I'm not disgustingly full yet, but we have reservations at a place called Grey Ghost. We also had to lie to get a reservation at this other place called Mabel Grey. We either gotta find a third person or I was just gonna tell them I'm gonna order enough for three. We're headed to the shop and I gotta put my seatbelt on. We're in lovely Ferndale. I'm overdressed, it's hot as fuck, but oh well. Ferndale's nice. I like Ferndale. Reminds me of like a modern Mayberry. Go do some tats, bro. Tat daddy in the motherfucking tat shack. We have to take dabs. I have to upload the vlog. I have to take dabs. And then we're going to dinner. Uh, what else happened today? Oh, the package didn't come today. It's coming tomorrow. It's Brandy's the... birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Brandy. Say happy birthday. Say happy birthday to Brandy on social media. But you'll be telling to her a little late. It will probably be a little, well, you'll probably make it by our birthday. Oh yeah, this won't go up tonight. Never mind. Whoops, <laughs> it'll be late. Belated birthday. Tonight. On American Picky Eaters. <laughs> Going to the Grey Ghost. Ooh, a lot of greys. Tomorrow's Mabel Grey. I know. Grey Ghost. Tuesday? Hey. All day today it's Tuesday. On this Tuesday in Detroit, Michigan at latitude 25.6 degrees. I don't really know the latitude much too. I'm gonna be tattooing for a little bit. I can't open this door because I have too much shit in my hands. It's dark. I look like a Picasso. Well, now I don't look like, now I don't. I look like a blue period Picasso painting for a brief moment. Tonight on Food Ted Work, 
like Food Network. We're going to the Green Dot Stables, which is known for their mini sliders of sorts and mini salad. That is where we shall dine <coughs> after we stop coughing <laughs> from the Detroit dabs. It's been a long day of tatting. I got one more day of tatting. It's no more tatting. It's hanging, editing, and getting ready for the pop. See you at dinner momentarily. Secondarily for you. Good morning, vlog. I said good morning, vlog. Today is Wednesday. I have a story for you. So last night dinner, the food that you see, I did not really enjoy. I didn't really enjoy Green Dot at all. I didn't think that it was very good. I didn't think that the service was very good. Yeah, I thought our waiter was kind of a weirdo. Well, first my stomach started hurting instantly. Then I came back home. I was like, I'm still hungry. I ordered a pizza. So I ordered Postmates. Postmates said they were here. I ran downstairs. No Postmates. Postmates app says delivered. Nothing. So I order another pizza from another place. An hour later, order gets canceled from Postmates. So then Alex, my sweet, lovely girlfriend, says, I'll take you somewhere. Even though when she was taking me there, she had an attitude and I said, why would you offer to take me somewhere? And then, yeah. So anyway, we drove 15 minutes away to, what was the name of the place? Tellways. Tellways Burgers, which is rated 4.79 stars on Google reviews. I think the description says a Detroit staple, historic, must eat, blah, blah, blah. So we went there, which was quite the scene. Uh, there was no nutrition in the food, only in the experience. Alex got to see a different side of Detroit. The food was disgusting. They did not allow us to take pictures because the prices were going up tomorrow. So if you're going there today, the prices are higher. I just want to warn you. Um, it was disgusting. So I took one bite of a burger and threw the rest away. Then we went over to American Coney Island hot dog where I repeated the process with a hot dog and got hot dog and french fries, ate zero bites of the hot dog and ate three french fries and then decided that it was time to not eat anything else or even attempt to. But yesterday's food was not really great. I'm pretty bummed, but I'm very excited that tonight we're going to Mabel Gray, which is the restaurant everyone's been hyping up. Perhaps, Last night's low is to accentuate today's high. And that is today's life lesson. So I'm gonna get out of here. Gotta go edit and then tap. Here we go. One more rodeo. Oh, look at this bug. This is like a crazy bug. I don't know what it is. It's crazy. I wouldn't piss him off. I wouldn't do that. It's a venomous fucking bee. Will you come on? It's a venomous bee? Yes. You don't know about these Detroit bees. You didn't know about these Detroit burgers? <laughs> the green dot burgers I thought were fine. They're whatever. Overhyped. It's way overhyped. Hipster. Oh, yeah. Very hipstery. Stank came back because he heard the food was gonna be so good. Number one. So he drove three hours one. just to eat here. So Mabel Gray, if you're watching this, don't fuck up.
Very good. What's your review like? Very good. It's more expensive than the other places, but the flavors are amazing. It's well worth it. And I'm not disgustingly full. Pay a good amount of money for food and you overeat. You don't feel like shit. Shit we ate last night, this is just a bunch of white bread. You feel like shit. It's like I run a fucking marathon. <laughs> Turbo Ted, back in action. Ready to go smoke some weed. Early morning, Edmonton, Alberta. Um, here we are in Calgary. Headed out, showing Winnipeg today. Any difference between Canadian Starbucks, any specialties you guys have? No. <laughs> it's not. The London Fog originated in Canada. London Fog originated in Canada. There's your yeah. answer, guys. Early morning. At the venue, we've arrived. All of our beds have been freshly made. Rusty, thank you, my What's this right here doing, man? Hey, what's this? Hey, where are you putting the gas? It ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> Sounds just a simple thing, boys. It ain't got no gas in it. That's the engine fan. Do an air conditioner compressor for the bus. It's yeah, like keep that thing working. Same size as the Harley motor. It's a V twin. It's got two cylinders. And that's just for the AC. That's just the AC. I've got an AC compressor for one, two, three alternators on it. Damn. Forty thousand miles on an oil change. Forty thousand synthetic oil. Really? It costs $900 to change the oil in this place. Going on protest the heroes, boss. What? You're about to find out. Oh, Taking them on. Uh, Coming to check in? I don't, uh, your house. Yeah, yeah, we're going in. Nah, this is exciting. Get excited. I don't want to over talk it, you it's know. Already over and the camera talking. really oversells it. <laughs> there better be a life size Jason Voorhees in here. Come on in, boss. Oh, shit. Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, <wow>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys are the best. Hey, where's your caramel bars? We got a trick or treater. You guys are into Halloween shit. I think at the Toronto show, this guy, the guy that owns Devil's Latex, it's a bananas. Head head back to the hotel, do some laundry. Sure is something special out there. I don't know what's with the crime, but uh, maybe mad undercover out here. Low key, as we like to call it. They're low key, low key. You know what I'm saying? Detectives be low key, low key. So. It is what it is now. That catering really fucked me up. We out here. Just me and Josh. Everybody went back to the hotel. Hell yeah, dog. No. Yeah. This green room, though. Very beautiful green room. So, uh, the show in Winnipeg's over. We're headed to Toronto. Some people will be spending 22 hours on the bus. Some of us are flying. Well, I'm flying. Here's where I live. Right, a little map. See what it looks like. Nice little bunk. Nice little light. Net for your laptop, a little bed, oh, a little magnets, hey, PlayStation, that's about it. I guess when I'll see you guys, it'll be tomorrow morning in the airport, so. It's Thursday. We're going to StockX. I'm going to authenticate your shoes. I'm going to steal your packages. I'm just going to check out their new stuff because they made changes since the last time I was here. Josh is out of town, but he is the man. So he set it up to where I can just go meet up with a guy named Kevin. The sneaker authentication room the last time we were here was bigger than the first time, but this is like some fucking Gotham shit. <laughs> Look, there's the dude that tattooed right there. So, so the My man Francis. Shout out to Francis, everybody but Francis. So, so the flow of traffic, everything starts at the left and then comes down to the right. Wise words are to just start doing whatever it is that you're thinking about doing instead of sitting there and just coming up with ideas and never executing. The hardest part about flying is getting the plane off the ground. If you never take off, you're never gonna go anywhere. All right, we handled our business at StockX. Alex got to see what the world is all about. Got presents. Got swag, free Rolexes. Now we're going to get a salad from the salad spot. Check in at Nojo. And then I don't know, we might have to go to Utica. Or we can wait till tomorrow, we'll figure it out.
right, we're done with the day. Alex thinks I'm talking to her. Uh, we're done pretty much for the day. I gotta finish editing. We're gonna go out, I believe, for pizza that was recommended from Mabel Gray last night. And then uh, get ready for this pop-up. Pop-up is tomorrow at No Joe's, which is Friday. Uh, that is gonna be at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m.-ish. If you end up coming a little later, that's okay. I have plenty of merch, I do believe. We should make it to the pop-up. Last year we ran out early, but this year I think we'll be good. Well, the red shirts are exclusive to the pop-up, so anything left over in red will go to friends and family. Anything that may be left over will hit the site eventually, but I don't know exactly when. That's pretty much it. Tomorrow we're gonna do free pizza. I'm gonna order like 20 pizzas or something. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So come down tomorrow in Detroit. I'll see you there. Shirts, stickers, good vibes, and high fives. Peace! The most overrated to me is probably food in some places. Um, but that's, I don't know, like, tra it's hard. Nothing's really overrated as far as when you're traveling because everything is a new experience. What I think is overrated is thinking that nothing is different anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, Things are the same and constant in places, like you'll have the same problems no matter where you go if you keep those problems, but I feel like everything gets stale if you don't move around, so what I feel like is overrated is security mm. and just sitting still. What's most underrated? Uh, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> For me, um, I don't know, underrated, I think, I mean, I think making art is underrated. I don't think a lot of people create as much as they could or should or want to. So I think that um, that's the most underrated thing. And I think that the way that the world works now and how we process information and art, that we appreciate it a lot less. You know, we see something, like I worked three hours yesterday on a tattoo, and you scroll by it in two seconds. So I think what's underappreciated is our friend's output, you know, and the things that people around us are creating. Cool, so I don't, I don't want to leave the question, but you're right, you're right here okay. in the city of Detroit. Okay. You are tattooing. Yeah. What are you most excited about right now? Uh, I'm most excited just about the future in general. Uh, I love Detroit, so I'm excited about that. I may have a future in Detroit, I don't know. We're just thinking about houses and stuff like that here, but um, I'm just excited about the future in general. I don't, like, always, yeah. you know. So, all right, and what's next for you? Uh, just keep creating, keep making stuff, keep traveling, new life experiences, having fun, new shoes when they come out and they don't suck, you know, <laughs> telling jokes, yeah. things like that. Yeah. yeah, just living. Was that five? I think that was five. All right, you got it. If not, that was five. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, it was nice.